everyone. This is your five-minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Psalm 32, verse 7, and 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 2 and 3. They read as follows. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah. Leave here, turn eastward, and hide in the Kirith Rabin east of the Jordan. There are a number of instances in the Bible where the Lord talks about hiding his people. In Jeremiah 36, we read of the current king wanting to arrest Jeremiah and Baruch. Jeremiah had delivered to them a message from the Lord, basically telling them they needed to kind of get their acts together. They weren't going in the right way. And instead of repenting, they responded with wanting to arrest them. But we read that the Lord had hidden them. They couldn't arrest them. The entirety of Psalm 91 discusses God's protection, his hiding his covering. In our verse today, we read of the time when Elijah announces a great drought and the Lord tells him essentially to go high, to go to this particular place where he will cover him, provide for him, sustain him. Our verse today in the Psalms notes that the Lord is our hiding place. He protects us from trouble. He surrounds us with songs of deliverance. We see that hiding is a theme. It's funny because it almost seems as though that's not how it should be as a Christian, in many places in scripture, we read that we should be bold and courageous, or you know, if we shrink back in faith, we do not please God. We even read that Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah, and a lion is king. He is bold. He is daring. He is fearless. He is courageous. But Jesus is also called the Lamb of God who takes the weight of the sins of the world. And while a lion is bold and courageous and fearless and afraid of nothing, a a lamb needs protecting, it needs safety, it needs safeguarding, it needs guiding. Friends, we are going to need to be both at times. There are going to be times where the Lord calls us to stand up, to stand firm, to be bold, to be courageous, steadfast, unmovable, abounding in the work of the Lord. But there are other times where the Lord is going to whisper to us, lay low, keep a low profile in the situation, stay back, be still and wait. It takes faith to do both. It takes faith to stand up and to be bold and courageous. And it takes faith to step back and to be still and to trust that God is saying, you know what, just hide for a little bit in the situation. I remember this one situation I was in where the Lord told me, okay, I just want you to go. I don't want you to do X, Y, and Z. It honestly seemed very counterintuitive to just kind of my Christian walk. It didn't sort of seem to make sense. It wasn't sin either way. It just felt as though the Lord was telling me to do this, but it just didn't quite equate with me. I didn't understand why he didn't want me to do this. And he said it a couple of times. He was like, no, just go. I don't want you to do this. When finally, I guess maybe just out of his mercy and love towards me, just his mercy because I wasn't getting it, he kind of finally said, okay, look, there is a devil at this place that if you do X, Y, and Z, it's going to try to get at you. So just lay low and just go. He was trying to protect me. He was using that hiding situation, that hiding period to keep me safe. Friends, sometimes hiding is necessary, even though that doesn't seem to make sense and doesn't seem to be how we should be. Sometimes God is just going to ask you to hide yourself, to trust him, to kind of pull back, to just sort of stay hidden. Other times God is going to hide you himself. He is very good at hiding his people from illness from job loss, from attacks of the enemy, from his plans and you know everything, every weapon he's trying to form against us. God is very good of not letting those weapons prosper and hiding us. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit when he is leading you to a hiding place, to a hiding season, or if he is calling you to be bold and courageous. There are going to be times where he speaks to us about both. But don't think that hiding is some sort of cop-out or fearful stance. On the contrary, the best thing that we can do is simply to obey the Lord because he knows every factor going on, both in the natural and in the spiritual. Sometimes hiding, just like the Lord is telling us to do, is the wisest and the safest thing of all. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you are the lion and you are the lamb and you are bold and courageous and absolutely fearless. And you are wise, God, and you are humble and you are very, very very smart to listen and to follow the leading of your father. Help us, Lord, to be both when the time calls for it, God. If you were calling us to a hiding place, to a season of hiding, to just a period of just laying low and trusting you, Lord, as something blows over, as something, you know, kind of passes, 
Help us to obey that, God, and not question it and just simply trust you, God. If you're calling us to be bold and courageous, help us to do that too, God. But help us to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, you, Holy Spirit, so we recognize when you are leading us in a certain way so that we are following your path, which is always safe and protective and loving towards us. We love you so much, God. You are our hiding place, God. You protect us from trouble, God. Protect my brothers and sisters from trouble, God. Surround them with songs of deliverance and please keep them safe, God, for your glory, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would love to have you. Guys, have a great day. God loves you so much. God bless you. I love you guys. I will see you next time. God bless.